right, Mason, so I'm going to direct you in a little demonstration called Elephant Toothpaste. All right. Um, now, this is a technically kid-safe version of this, meaning that it's not using chemicals that are too strong. Uh, but we are dealing with a hydrogen peroxide and a yeast, there we go, thank you. This is a special kind of hydrogen peroxide. This is the kind that you might go to the salon and get your hair done. Um, now what we have, <laughs> so uh, Amy will edit these things out. We have yeast. So this might be a hard to come, come by commodity, but if you have this in your cabinet, this is what you're using. Uh, I believe that we've used some spent yeast, some expired yeast before, and it's actually worked. It may not work very well in your bread, but it might work well for this demonstration. So, okay, so we've got the yeast, we have the um, hydrogen peroxide, we have a little Erlenmeyer flask there, we've put a little bit of the hydrogen peroxide in there. Um, Mason made a solution out of the yeast that's inside there. It's kind of like this nice slurry of yeast. You want to get that kind of um, into a nice solution so it's pourable. Yeah, it's, it's not so slurry-like, it's more, more watery. So that's what you want. So Mason, what I want you to do is, uh, because what ends up happening is that H2O2, that's hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, meaning that uh, it's a little bit, it's very different from water right? Because oh, yeah. H2O is water. Does everybody know that? <laughs> so what Mason's going to do is kind of make this demonstration show that one of those oxygen um, molecules is going to release from that bond. So oh. it's no longer going to be H2O2. It will release one of the O's. Where does that O go? Well, we wouldn't be able to see it because that O is an invisible gas called? Oxygen. Yes. So we're gonna let go of that by using a catalyst. So Mason, would you please add some soap to that Erlenmeyer flask? Boop. Perfect. All right, so no reaction yet. No reaction yet, those aren't reacting. But when we see the reaction, so um, this might get messy. So how about if you use that little bin right there? Oh, you mean this little bin? That little bin right there, set that inside. Perfect, perfect. All right, so now what I want you to do is on three, two, one, you are going to pour that yeast solution into the Erlenmeyer flask. All right. Are we ready? We are ready to go. In three, two, one. What is happening? Oh, wow. What is happening? What is going on? Oh, man. Oh, here it comes. Now we can see why it's called elephant toothpaste. It kind of does look like toothpaste coming out of a tube. And that's but a uh, big, fat band of toothpaste. You think that's enough to brush an elephant's teeth? I don't know. What do you think? Yes. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> I actually, I don't think I've ever really seen elephant teeth. They're all molars. Oh. Just like the backs of our mouths, because all they eat is leaves. Mm. It's very interesting. Yeah. Very, very okay, so now we've got this. This is perfectly safe for you to touch. Oh, what really? I want you to do is touch it and tell me how it feels. Oh man, that is toasty warm. Ah, oh, toasty wow. warm. I wonder, how did it get warm? Because it released energy when it let go of that O. Which means all that energy spooting out of there is causing it to charge on up and get nice and toasty. Very good. So thank you for doing elephant toothpaste with us today, Mason. Woo! Thank you. Uh, you know, I had a great time. I'm gonna go brush my teeth with this now. Just kidding. <laughs> you.